the materials we are using for this tutorial we have our measuring tape we have our chalk we have our scissors we have our cup ruler or armhole curve we have the straight rulers for our straight line it's an off shoulder blouse so i folded my fabric using my bust measurement divided by four plus 2.5 inches that's allowance plus two inches to in allowance that is plus 4.5 extra to our bust measurement divided by four so i don't want the off shoulder to be too low so i just want it to be around five inches so that's why i'm starting with 4.5 so that by the time i turn it over i'll have my five inches so i've connected from my chest line to my bust point nine inches to my under bust 13 inches to my waistline 16 inches plus one inch allowance so i'm just using my straight ruler to rule out the line I'll go ahead and label it the bust, the under bust, and our waistline. Okay, now we're going to be placing our bust fan measurement for our dart. My bust fan is seven inches divided by two, three and a half. So I'll be adding half inch to make it four for sewing allowance. So I'm taking it all the way down from my bust point to my waist line so my straight ruler i'll connect the line from my waistline up to my bust point and stop there you can see i did not take it up to my chest line so but on the bust line you can see what we have is four inches the chest line i'll be adding extra one inch to my bust pan measurement the reason is so that the darts will not be too close to each other after shaping the blouse so i'll just connect it from the first point to the chest line now to mark out our darts on the under bust i'll be taking out one inch before my bust pan line and 1.5 inches after my bust pan line then on the waist line i'll be taking out half inch before my bust pan line and one inch after my bust pan line you can also call your bust pan nipple to nipple line so i'll just connect the under bust to my waist connect it that my under bust i'm going to be bringing the dart down by one inch from my bust point sorry then also raise it up by one inch so what i did is one inch before my bust point and one inch after my bust point the reason is so that i, I can have a control of the point how pted the bustier will be i don't want it to be that pointed so that will help you give it a very round feel and a round shape so i'm connecting the two lines the under bust to the one inch we brought down from the bust point. Alright. Okay, on our chest line, I'll be marking out one inch before the extended nipple to nipple line and one inch after so i'll also connect it to the raised bust point so with this after sewing or shaping the dart you will notice that the darts will not be too close to each other they will sit they will align properly on the chest area so i'm just trying to blunt the sharp edges right bringing it closer for us to see you can see the shape is already formed
And for our neckline, what determines how off your off shoulder blouse would be is the neckline you choose to use. I don't want it to be too off, so I'll just need them um, about five point five inches. That's five and a half. But remember, you removed two inches from the chest line, so you have to add it back. That's the that allowance you removed, so you're making it on um, seven point five. Add the two inches. Then on the bust, our measurement is uh, 13.5. So plus our dart allowance and sewing allowance, we have 13.5. So I'm marking my 13.5. Then on the waist, we have 12.25. So I'll just go ahead and mark it and connect it to my bust line. So with my armhole curve, I'm going to curve my armhole connecting the bust line to my neckline. You can equally curve this with your hand if you can, if you can, but if you have your curve, you can still use it. So our neckline, remember we already used minus 4. So you have to be careful how deep you go. I'll just take out half inch, half inch. So, so that the chest area will not be too flat. At least to give it a little curve. So you connect it. Now we are ready to cut. can see the this is coming out or the SS coming out they are not much because I had to fold with my bust measurement which was the biggest part of my upper body plus all the sewing allowances I need I didn't just fold anyhow you have to at least try and manage your fabric but don't be stingy with your dad it's better you have SS than having less what I mean is, it's better you add sewing allowance so that when your client wants to adjust the blouse, they can easily do it, un unlike having less. But still, don't waste your fabric. Alright, this is what we've got. Our front piece is ready and we have it in three pieces, three panels. The center panel and the sides. So you can see the shape. Is what we've got. All right. Now let's move over to the back piece of our fabric. You can see you need to divide your bust by four plus your one inch zip allowance, one inch that allowance, and two inches sewing allowance. But first of all, I'm just going to cut out the part. The part that I need out of this fabric so that I can have enough workspace for myself. Alright, so this is what to be working with. Now, the first thing you do is to mark out your zip allowance. And I'll be using only one inch. It's a blouse, so I'll just need just an inch. The zip allowance, one inch. You can see, one inch. So our neckline, minus five, just as in the front, but I'll be adding maybe like half inch for joining allowance so remember your minus four same thing as you did with the back and my shoulder to bust is nine inches i'll just take the line up and then connect to my waistline 
16 inches but I've added one making it 17 one inch for sewing allowance so I'm going to shape out the blouse I have 13 as my bust point plus all the allowances the sewing allowance the zip allowance and that allowance and on my waist line I have 12 inches So with my curve to I'll be covering the armhole, connecting the armhole from the bust or the armhole point to my neckline. I, I want it back to be a bit lower than the front. So I'll just go down by one inch and that is going to make it like 5.5 but for the front I have 5 inches. Remember we did the um, minus 4, but here still minus 4, but plus 1. So the darts, you're still going to use your bust pan measurement, the nipple to nipple measurement for your darts. So I'll just, um, okay, you can say 9 inches for the back dart. Uh, minus 4 was done, then you mark your 9 inches. On the waistline, open the dart. Okay, first of all, you connect the lines together. Marking out your darts like this helps you get them correctly you don't just fold your fabric and start adding your dart so i'm opening it by half half inch of the waistline on both sides before and after the bust point line so i'm connecting it to my bust point that is my nine inches from my chest line so now we are going to cut making an off shoulder blouse is really 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 easy and I hope this um, tutorial will help someone and if you find it helpful please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more videos like and leave your comment if you have any question leave it in the comment section We'll be close by to attend to your question. And this is what we've got the back base. All right. So friends, this is the front and the back piece. As you can see, by the time you're done joining them, you really, really love how it came out. So like I said, please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, share our videos so that others can learn as well.